Hi guys, welcome back to more Monkey Island. I'm Itchy, and you are watching my video. So, uh... What we need to do now is we need to go to the used ship emporium. Uh, there's an island up there we've not been to yet, but I promise we need to go there in the, uh, pretty soon anyway, so we'll be going there soon. Howdy! Oh great, it's Stan. This guy's really annoying. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Yeah, see this guy always wears big, little, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. That's what she said. Or he said, sorry. <laughs> and if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. But if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come take a look around. Yeah, this guy always flaps his arms around like that, and he always wears check shirts. It's really annoying. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Uh, okay, so we get to have a look at each of the ships that he's got. So there's one like a Viking ship there, there's a massive one at the back, there's a massive one here. There's a tiny rowboat here, but we don't want that. Uh, actually, uh, wait, hang on. Something not too expensive, but built to last. Yeah. Let's see what he shows us. Affordable quality? Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way, talk this way, walk this way, talk this way. Now I can see you're a no frills kind of guy. But I can also tell you that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north. Where the she is as unforgiving as the men are tough and... Hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? <laughs> I'm not a viking. You, seem to ju you just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. How much would you like to spend? Uh, I was hoping to get one on credit. I think that's what I say, I can't remember. Sorry kid, maybe not. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just all stands for loss of fee. Don't rhyme at me, you son of a wobbly arm peasant. If you've got the job, your storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Oh, okay. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. <laughs> is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. <laughs> why, would, why would you want one of those? You wouldn't have to have any other means of finance, would you? Uh, no. Not yet. Okay. Okay, but I tell you, I got a feeling. You're gonna leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So what else can I show you? Oh, actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. Whoa! I forgot to give you my card. How did he get there? Jeez. He's a Time Lord. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right! Summer to for the Wank Bank later. It always points directly back here, so if you're not looking if, if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. Okay. They're moving fast today. Yes, sir. Can't handle. I can hardly keep anything in stock. 
He'll be back. <laughs> Stan's funny, but he's <laughs> he can be quite annoying. Okay, so we need to go back to the village and back to the store, so let's do that. It's so annoying having to walk back and forth from areas. You guys are lucky. You can just, like... I just cut out the video and you don't have to watch all this, but... Yeah. Well, you watched it this time, but still. Shut up. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster. Who, oh, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake? Well, that's nice. I already beat her, though. And when I come back, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. It's okay, I don't need you to do it again. What do you want? <laughs> that's kind of like... Uh, yeah. I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, are you? Got a job? Yes, of course I do. I don't know what, but I do. Alright. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Okay, we need to keep an eye on this here, guys. That handlebar that he's about to go and move, we need to keep an eye on. Left. Down. Down. Left. Okay. Left. Clockwise down. Counterclockwise down. Left. Okay, uh, I'm going to write that down because we need to remember it. What did you say your occupation was? Uh, my, my pen's not working. Uh, come on, pen. I need to remember this before I forget. Okay. I just scribbled on the hand I need to write on, so now I've got no room to write on. Okay. Left. Hang on, guys. I'll just write this down. Okay. Left, clockwise down, counterclockwise down, left. Okay, we've got it. Okay, what is our occupation? Uh, okay, basically, at this point, we just uh, tell him that we're between jobs. I appreciate your honesty. But I didn't get to 83 by being no jackass. Whoa, he said jackass. In 1992, he said jackass. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Come see me when you land a job and we'll talk. Alright, yeah. This takes too long. Hang on. Okay. What else do you want? Alright, I need to go and tell him to look for the Swordmaster again now. I need him out of the room. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Jeez. Alright. I am going to touch something now. Your penis. Ew, that's horrible. Anyway. What we need to do is left. Okay, let's just get this right. See if pull... Okay, pull is right. Sorry, pull is left and then push is right. So, left. Count... Uh, clockwise down. Counterclockwise down, and then left again. There we go. Hmm. There's nothing hidden here but this note. Credit. I, the good and honourable storekeeper, do hereby take the liability for the depths of the bearer of this note for any amount of up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Whoa, now that is going to give us a ship. And that is where we're about to go. And here we are. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I got something for everyone. Come take a look around, if you know what I mean. Oh Stan, you devious little devil. So what else can I show you? Uh, okay. Let me see the best ship you've got, now that we've actually got money. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way, talk this way. Oh, that's not the boat we want. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace and everyone. 
We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, what kind of price range were you thinking of? Uh, we don't want this shit, but I'm gonna ask him about the credit anyway. I'd love to. I really would. I usually do. But not for the amount this baby's going to run you. Maybe one of the other ships would be more in your price range. So what else can I show you? Um, uh, let's have a look at the Viking one again, I guess. I knew it, I knew it. Just can't get you out of my mind, can you? Walk this way, okay, I'll shut up now. No, Stan's a good vocalist. I can actually. What kind of price range were you thinking of? Uh, I want to try and get to that ship at the back, but I don't know how. Do I, I'm not sure if we have to look at them all first. Okay, but I tell you, got a feeling. You're going to leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So what else can I show you? I guess we have to say that we want to look at the one at the office. That spiffy blue one by the office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Well, we don't want this one here. That's a bit sunk. Uh, I really don't have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way, talk this way, walk this way, talk this way. At least we got to the right boat now. This here is the famous sea monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island TM. And come back with anyone aboard alive, left alive. Or should I say anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off like many before to find a legendary secret of Monkey Island TM. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate a mystery. Almost as mysterious as how the ship returned to Melee Island TM without a single human aboard. Some claim it's sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. <laughs> anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Okay, now we can give him the credit. Hopefully. Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. Wasn't for the other ship though, was it? It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, bankruptcy, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you the letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady un income, right? <coughs> no, uh, right. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it, if you know what I mean. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Ew, he's a prostitute. <laughs> Let's talk extras. Extras? You wanna talk extras? Great, this baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? 
<laughs> okay, enough about extras. He just goes on and on through them. I don't think we need to actually, uh... Oh wait, yeah, we do, we do, we do, we need to do this. I just remembered. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Basically, it's too much cash for us, even with the grant, uh, the credit. So we need to tell him that we don't want the pieces of junk that he has extra. We need to tell him that we don't want any of it. And then he'll lower the price right down. Okay, but don't blame me if you run to an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. And there's plenty, there is actually plenty more. <laughs> Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I can live without it. Sure, throw safety to the wind. Ugh, this is gonna take a while, guys, so let's just. I'm gonna speed through this, okay? Okay. So he just asked us about the same thing, the very first thing again, so I think that's everything now. Let's ask him what it's worth. Nah, that's far too much. Don't have that much. Great, how much? Okay, um... Let's try 3,000. Sure, I guess we can both start at the, at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it le means losing my shirt. Okay, well, let's try 4,000. See if he goes for 4,000. Okay, okay, 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. Alright, I guess we have to go to full 5,000 then, so uh, that, we'll tell him that's our final offer because he needs to sell it, so he's going to have to take it. Alright, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was going to give my children Christmas presents this Oh, stop with the sympathy. I'm not giving you any sympathy, dude. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I gotta run those numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? <laughs> he sounds so sarcastic. Sucker. See it? What? See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Why am I a sucker? Did he overprice it? He probably overpriced it, didn't he? Okay, well, after all that, I think I think we need a drink, don't you guys? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Hmph! <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I just stole my money. Oh well. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Uh, tune in to the next part. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to this video if you liked it. And, uh, yeah, see you again. Bye for now.